But yeah, we got everything here. I was worried that was gonna be a bit of a pain in the butt, but it shouldn't really, it really shouldn't take us more than an hour. I put aside an hour and a half just for this, but I'm thinking it might not take us a full hour and a half. It'll make it probably take us like 10 hours, uh, 10 hours, 10, 10 minutes to get through the lava tube. And then, then there's the final area. We're just at the final area. Super exciting stuff, but now we're at the tube of lava where Kira should meet us. Oh, this is intense. Just look at this place. Uh, let's plop down. Ow, that didn't kill me. Great, hi. <laughs> All right, with these additional power cells, I should be able to supply the heat shield with enough power to stand up to this lava. But the shield still has a limit. It will now withstand temperatures up to 800 degrees, but no more. So keep an eye on your gauge. I don't want to think about what those temperatures would do to your zoomer if the shield gives out. Oh my. Yeah, the heat. What? The zoomer? <laughs> hey, what about us? Don't you think we could look for a safer route to Gull Citadel? Look, I've released more cooling balloons into the tube, so you can use them to keep the temperature down. And don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Yellow Sage's lab. We're counting on you. I was like, I felt my PS4 cord tug and Smokey's like trying to eat the charging cord. It's like, Smokey, what's your problem? So I don't know if anybody heard me shuffling around. Okay, so there's actually a secret path and this is super intense. I remember it being pretty gosh darn difficult, but it was also really cool. It was one of the coolest parts of the game. But there, oh no, I'm already missing stuff. You know what, if I explode, I explode. I need to get this stuff. Actually, the temperature's not going up at all. Awesome. I mean, I wasn't listening to Kira too much there, so I don't know if she said something about that. But it's fine, yeah, because we weren't in the open parts of the lava, so we really wanna be able to curve around on these little turns, I guess they're berms, but this is cool. Even if we die doing this, big jump! Did we do it? Yes, we did, this is so cool. We can take the secret entrance through the lava. I think that we'll definitely not wanna do it like this bef again, because I think that we might end up missing on precursor orbs that way. I'm really not sure. I might even just wanna turn around and just make extra, yes, we did. Okay, so it's worth turning around and doing these. Oh my, I missed that down. It's fine, it's not the end of the world. I seem to go back, I, I see another one we missed over there. Oh yeah, we missed a ton. So while it is a very cool shortcut, you miss a ton for it. I think that was, oh, wait, wait. Yeah, I'm definitely missing a ton here. It's tough, it's a tough area. We're about to explode, which I actually don't mind because it'll give me a chance to redo some of this. But there we go, we should be caught up. I'm gonna explode down. Oh, uh, yeah, that happened. <laughs> oh, Smokey. <laughs> Why must you be such a jerk? He's over there now, he's having a snack. Whenever I tell him, like, go be a good boy, the first thing he does is go get a snack. Which, hey, I mean, if that revitalizes him and gives him enough energy to be a good boy, then you know, more power to him. Good Smokey. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. So don't go through the, I showed off the cool lava shortcut. I don't need to show it off again. Uh, oh, we gotta take this jump, that's so cool. I missed one, no! Come on, this is so tough. I'm definitely gonna have to do like a couple retries, probably. I mean, hopefully that'll be the worst of it, but I know that this, the difficulty of this area is only sort of just beginning. As you can see, it's, it's oh gosh. It's very split up. There's multiple ways to go at any given point in time. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, oh, yellow eco. Oh, I gotta go that way, and I'm into the lava. All right, let's try that again. Oh. This is very intense sound. I love this area, that the design of this area is so cool. But now that I've done that, I should be able to get through everything without taking too much of an issue. Just hit all the balloons, it'll keep me nice and low. Try to stay on the turns where I actually don't lose any temperature at all. Or I guess I don't gain any temperature. It's a better way to explain it. Oh, I missed that one. That's fine, that's fine. No need to freak out, not even halfway there. Get over here. Now it's starting to raise a bit more. Oh boy, big jump. Don't think I've missed any yet. I sure hope not. Oh, I might have missed some. Oh, yep, they're right here, they're right here, they're right here. Okay, got him, got him, got him, got him, and got him. Okay, there's all 50 of them, but the difficulty hasn't ended yet. We got this really weird section where Shoot we have to... Spheres to open the door. Yeah, do this, which makes sense. Uh, But the problem is I need to also control my temperature, so we don't have too much of an opportunity to do this right. Oh gosh, okay, I gotta hit one more. The gotta hit one more. Open. Yeah! Let's get going. I'm guard, I'm trying to get going. Where do we get going to? I don't know. Uh, there's the door, right? Or is that where we came in from? I have no clue. I just gotta hope. I think it's, the, no, this is the right way. Whoa, look at this place. So there's no precursor orbs to get here, but there are still scout flies we have to worry about. I'm, I'm so glad they, they made that choice. And oh man, this is so cool. It's all winding and everything. It's just scary because I could miss out on a scout fly. 
So I might have to go through this an additional time if I want to get that. Whoa, look at this thing looping around. Oh, this is so cool. And then you don't have to worry about it being too hot around here. Oh, I guess you sort of do in some spots. But um, get across to here. I don't think I missed a scout fly, but those things could be anywhere. How many do I need? I need four more. I need to find four more in this area, really? Oh gosh, yeah, don't get hit by those. Definitely shoot as much as I can. I feel like I didn't shoot much as a kid when I went through this area. So like I didn't really do very well there. Like I just tried to dodge them, which obviously isn't the best idea. You just wanna keep shooting, because it gets rid of them. Oh, there's another one, there's six. So we are doing actually a pretty good job at getting those. I'm out of yellow eco now though, so it's gonna make it much more difficult. Oh my, oh my, will I make this? There's another vent down. You know what it probably was? I don't think these yellow eco vents are open if you don't do that one area in the snow area. So I probably never even did it. <laughs> awesome. And do a video showing off the cats, maybe at some point. Okay. So let me go and make this jump. We got all the scout flies. We got the heck out of here. Watch out for the giant mines. And we made it. We're at the final area of the game. Oh cool, and we get a trophy for it. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Cool. So we got 95 power cells, 96. And we're about to let these guys through. Hey! Hey! Where's old short green and wrinkly? This is terrible. Father is missing. I think Gall and Maya may have kidnapped him as well. Relax, sweetheart. I got everything under control. Under control? Lurker armies continue to grow across the land. The sages have been kidnapped. Gaul and Maya have gathered enough eco to complete their terrible plan. And to stop them, you're going to have to fight your way through their citadel. Okay, uh, sounds fine. Yeah, that about uh, sums it up. You've got to rescue my father before it's too late. And Jack, be careful. Yeah, we will be. <laughs> we, where is she now? Does she just sort of disappear? Oh, she's right here. Cool, can I talk to her more? I guess not. She just stands near, dangerously close to near the, the lava fumes. But uh, yeah, so they have taken uh, Samos, which I guess can only mean they've taken the rest of the sages and they have all four of them now. Uh, oh. Oh my. It's about time you two decided to show up. Nice to see you too. Do they have you mopping the floors now? There's no time for jokes, Dexter. Gaul and Maya kidnapped us to sap our energies to power their abominable machine. It appears they have combined the functional remains of a precursor robot with scavenged artifacts from across the land. Then they added a few diabolical additions of their own, creating the one thing capable of opening the dark eco silos. If you can free the four of us, we can use our combined powers to break the force shield surrounding the robot before they use it to destroy the world. Okay. So he's in a cage, but he can still tell us what to do. So we gotta destroy all the cages so we can save them. This area can be really tough. Oh, don't forget the first scout fly, that'd be silly. Oh my, oh my. There you go. So yeah, this area might be tough. I might end up dying a lot because it really is a challenging area. I just, I don't know, this is one of the only areas I don't remember too well, just because of course I just never got to this area too much. But it's not too bad. I mean, this game isn't incredibly difficult, but basically there are four different areas we can go to. Each area has like its own thing to it. And if we get to the end of it, we save a sage. There we go. So we can turn around back around and go this way. They all have like their own different unique challenge. Oh my, this might be a bit of a difficult jump, so I might. We got these like little triangular shapes. Uh, made it. The only problem is that because it's sort of like so challenging like this, I don't know. The design of the areas themselves, graphically and just like visually, aren't as stunning, in my opinion, but it's still cool. It's just a different kind. But yeah, I guess this is the Yellow Sages area, originally. I mean, I imagine. I mean, we're far to the north. Far, far to the north. But yeah, now we gotta be careful about what color we land on or that kind of stuff will happen, which means I'm gonna die here. But you almost always have to die there if you wanna get all the orbs. I'm not really spreading it. And it responds right here. Some of the checkpoints are really generous with this. It's just some of the challenges are actually quite long and difficult. Got it. Okay, so let me try to get this. Got it. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. <laughs> that was a bit intense. Oh my, I think I remember this. I think I remember this. Uh, yeah. Company Jack. Lots of lurkers. 
lurkers. Lots of lurkers. I mean, they're sort of the baby lurkers or something. I would imagine. They're coming, so we gotta start blasting. I mean, it'd probably be easier, yeah, just to stay here and get rid of them. I mean, I don't know if they indefinitely just start coming in, but we can attack pretty quickly, so I think they might be indefinite. That'd be weird if they are, but it's definitely possible. You know what, I'm gonna go back, actually. They stopped. <laughs> they got bored for a moment. Let me get all that. It definitely seems like they're just indefinitely coming through, which is fine. I just gotta make this a little bit more hasty than I was anticipating. Oh, oh, oh no, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. Grab that. Come on, leave me alone, leave me alone. Oh, oh, come on. Just kick, just kick, just kick my way to victory. Kick my way to victory. Oh gosh, I only have one HP left, I gotta be careful. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, right? Um. Oh, now I just gotta defeat them all, I think. All right, that shouldn't be too bad. So I guess they stop spawning eventually. Oh, the last one with its creepy teeth. Hey, no. Jack, can I? Have your insect collection? No, you can't. It's my favorite collection. Why does Jack have an insect collection? I guess there's not really too much for a farm boy to do during the boring days. I mean, he's sort of a farm boy, right? I mean, it seems like everybody's sort of just like that kind of person around here. Okay, so if I could just keep moving past this, I could probably skip a good majority of it. Come on, roll jump right away. Ooh, oh, can't believe I got taken out in the last one. Well, that seems pretty typical. All right, doing it, doing it. This time I have full health as well, so it should be easier. And I don't have to worry about destroying anything except for these, and then all the bad guys. Oh, you know what? These are the things making the lurkers. I never noticed that. So that's why I have to destroy these and then they stop coming in. Got it. And I guess what it might have been easier is doing this, completing it, and then getting those boxes the before. The open, let's get going. Is it? It is, okay. Oh, there's more. <laughs> Great, that's fine. Some of these platforming challenges can be really tough. Some of them, uh, not too much, but, oh, I'm gonna die, aren't I? What, it didn't let me kick? It didn't let me kick, come on! Oh, I gotta start this again? Okay, maybe the checkpoints aren't too generous. Maybe I'm forgetting how long some of these were. Oh, gosh. Oh, that was, that was badly timed. Oh, this is gonna be tough, isn't it? That's why I'm glad I gave myself an hour and a half instead of just an hour to play today. Okay, what happened? I tried to sort of double jump and nothing happened. Oh, no. What, why, why did, okay, okay, fine. Blue, green, yellow, and then I land on red, I'm fine. There we go, see, this is not too bad. Or it's just silly. We definitely need to make an oof emote for you guys. That would be so fun. Oh wow, okay, so at least this time they don't spawn anymore. Once you get it done, it's done. That is at least relieving. So when we get malarkey checkpoints, we don't have to redo everything. Okay, so my, my main goal here is to get across like that and then just simply to roll jump. Yeah, punch it. And we get ourselves a power cell for that. See, I guess our last four power cells are, oh yeah, that's right, there's 101 left. So we're gonna get one for setting each of these guys free. Speaking of what, who are you? <laughs> you finally come to rescue me. Do you know how long I've been in here? What took you so long? And uh, <laughs> what are your names? <laughs> I'm Daxter. He's Jack, he's with me. Good job, Daxter. You're <laughs> a real hero. You've got to stop Gaul from launching the robot. I'll use my eco power to help open the shield door. Okay, so he's doing that, look at him zap it. Look at his power. He's like a, out of a Dragon Ball movie or something, or show, I, I don't know. <laughs> I sound so old sometimes. Um, okay, so we got that done, which means we can continue onward with something else. That's where we were before. So we just gotta continue onward. We got some power orbs or precursor orbs here. Oh, did these ones not fall? Oh no, they fall. They just don't have a color. That's just weird. Oh, oh, made it. So we wanna go this way then. We just gotta do that three more times. And then also, on. Uh, let's see. Oh. Gotta do that three more times and then also get all the scout flies and we have all 101 power cells. Okay, game. Thank you, I gotta get that back. Well, that shouldn't be too bad. I just hit the button, hit the button. Move it, move it, move it, got it. Oh no, I remember this one. This one's really tough. It's scary and tough. There's this 
huge jumps and you, you could fall very easily. I mean, as, as, as much as I remember at the least, and the platform itself like sort of moves, as, as, oh, it's tough. That was, <laughs> that's not what I should have done. I thought there might have been enough room to roll jump onto there, but I guess there's not. I mean, you can do that. I'm sure if you really tried, if, if you timed it perfectly, you could roll jump off of these. But is it really worth it? No, it's not. Let me answer that for you. So I'm gonna jump, jump. Oh, I got some good air off of that. Now this thing moves and you can't really move the camera too much around here, so you just have to pay attention to the, uh, I guess the shadow. All right, so it's gonna move. And then the center of it is being blasted by something. Oh my, it's just so easy to fall and get hurt. But I guess I did it, because now I can just go across to here. And where am I going now? Uh, oh, here, I think. Yeah, this area is a little confusing on the eyes too. I don't know what it is, I think it's just the texture of the walls. It can just be easy to sort of lose where you're going. I mean, oddly enough, artistically, I feel like this is what more of what Jack 2 sort of looks like. I mean, not entirely, of course, but in some ways. I didn't, I gotta look back. After we get to the end of this, I'm gonna look back and see. Did we get every power or precursor orb there? Looks like it. Yeah, okay, good. So now this one's tough, I remember this. Oh my. So yeah, it's gonna zap, and then I need to make my way across when it stops. You don't wanna move when it's moving or it'll be uh, not so bueno. Okay, so I see what I gotta do here. I have to move, move, but I don't have the Blue Eco! Oh no, I was supposed to do all that with Blue Eco? Ow, that hurt. I gotta go back then. Does it really expect me to do all of that with Blue Eco? I guess so. I mean, maybe there's an easier way to do it. Restarting isn't. Hmm, okay, I gotta do it again, but I needed the Blue Eco anyways. I mean, there might be Blue Eco right outside of that door, but this time I'll just do it better and quicker. Man, I don't remember that. I don't know how I, you know, I didn't do that before. I mean, I'm how I managed to do that before. And I've previously 100% of this game. That's really tough. I mean, I know I've done a lot in these kind of areas. Okay, so now I can just fall down here. And plop down, or, Jack! Jack, what's your deal? If you just jumped off normally. <laughs> oh no. Well, I feel like this one was the most difficult out of all of them, so I'm glad we're tackling this one now. Because after this, I think there, there's two more. And the other two aren't so bad. Actually, I think there's only one more, and then we climb up, and that's how we save for uh, Samos. It's gonna call him Samus. That's not who he is. That's another character that looks anatomically way different. Okay. Oh boy. So I'm gonna try to make this as good of a time as I can. Especially since I'll not have to worry about getting, what's it called? I don't have to worry about getting precursor orbs. All right, so that's gonna zap. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Gotta be careful. Don't let that happen. And then jump for it. Yeah, see how easy that was? That wasn't bad. That was not bad. And got it. Okay, so that's gonna save the oh, blue this sage. Is a fine mess. Yep, it is. So, I, yeah, I wanna guess that all the sages are connected by color. No, set me free. No, I'm setting you all free. Good work, fellows. Old Samos was right about you. Great piles of precursor metal. That insidious mechanical creation must not be allowed to wreak its terrible havoc. I will try to actuate the shield door by eliciting a conduit of energy between myself and the vast portal below. Uh, yeah, you do that. <laughs> we'll, uh, just go find more help. Weirdo! So rude. Okay, well, we saved uh, the blue sage. Uh, he's shooting his blue stuff, that's cool. But, um, oh, and there's, the yellow sage. Oh, I bet you I could, hmm. I wonder if it's possible to, to cheese that. Maybe, just maybe. You'd think they would play test that out. Please don't fall. When I get out of here, some shooting's gonna start. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, he's the yellow sage, okay. He's a little weird looking. I mean, they're all weird looking. But, uh, let's go across to here. I don't think we've messed any orbs, but I'm sure we'll find out one way or another. Yeah, this is the last one we're gonna do around here. I gotta remember, once we finish that, there's sort of a little sneak, secret area where you need to do to sneak over here. Uh, 
Okay, so sad that they ditched this game. I mean, they made two sequels. Does Jack ever talk? He talks in the sequels, which is a, you know, an exciting reason to play the sequels. Jack too, he starts talking. Okay, I'll do that again. I just wanted to see where it is. Need to aim up. Okay, ready? Boom. I heard you the first time. Not enough, I know, right? I would love a Jack 4, but uh, you know, if they don't feel like they can do it justice, I'd rather than not. I mean, I know a lot of people get upset because Naughty Dog has said, you know, we don't want to make another Jack game. But I mean, at the end of the day, I'd rather them not want to make another Jack game than force themselves to just because the fans demand it and it be a really not as good as it could be Jack game. You know, we don't need a repeat of The Lost Frontier. Whoop. But I think that if ever there's a time where they feel like they can do it, I sure hope they do. That way, we can get more Jack action because I love this game series. Okay, let's try to land on this. I'm getting pretty good with the launchers, I think. Oh no, the only problem now, can I make this jump? Is that I can't make that jump. It didn't let me do the second jump, but okay. That's fine. I, I'm expecting to die a couple times on these. All right, got it. I like how when you're doing this, this is the only way you don't take fall damage. Ooh. Let's try this one. This way, we're keeping a lot more blue eco, which is gonna be helpful. I mean, we end the game with a lot of precursor orbs. I've never really noticed that. Like, there's no more oracles to trade them with. So the rest of the orbs are just ours. Which I guess, hey, that's great profit. Oh boy, oh boy. So I need to, oh, I see what I need to do here. If I wanna make this work, I guess I should have gotten this better, but that's fine, because I should still be able to jump from here. And, oh, maybe not. Oh no. <laughs> no, Jack, come on. Ah, oh, I was there. I just needed to get those. Man, that stinks. Oh, on. If I get each one, I should be fine. So just immediately jump from this. Don't like don't take my time at all. Ooh, got it. Got it. Yeah, we're doing good. We're doing good. No, 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 hold on. Hold on. Okay. It seems to be perfectly timed for you to want to spam it. Oh no, except for this one. This one's not so great. Oh, that is so tough. I might die here. I might die here. I might die here. Oh no. Oh, I don't know which one to go to. I hope this one's a good idea. Okay, I got it. Jump to that one. I have so much blue eco that I could probably even skip that one. Oh, oh. Yes, I can. Just make it, make it and land it. Make it and land it. I got it. And I'm on top of it. <laughs> Look at me, we have here. Nice view. Nice view. Oh wow, that's creepy. Oh, that is so creepy. Oh, it just totally goes to darkness. Whoa, don't fall and die. <laughs> That'd be funny if I fell and die again. Okay, wait, give me that one. Okay, so we made our way through that. I think that's it, or is there more? No, that's it. That's probably the easiest one if you're just trying to get it done. If you're trying to, you know, 100% it. Hey, set me free. Don't worry, we're setting you free. So this is the Yellow Sage. Who would have thought I'd live to see the day when I needed to be rescued by a boy and his muskrat? <laughs> I'm gonna give Gall and Maya a little payback for this embarrassment. Then we'll see about cooking up some muskrat stew. Oh my. Okay, so we saved all three of the normal stages, which means there is now a platform to go up. Those platforms. Oh, we will, don't worry. Before we do that though, we could just take that platform down, but there's a little side area here that we want to make sure we do because this has a scout fly. And we have five, so if we do the scout fly, I think there's one more at the top of the tower we're about to, are you kidding me? <laughs> Whoop. Oh no, the timing was bad for that one. That one moves so slow. Hey, well, luckily there's a perfect checkpoint here. So like, even if I die a lot, I don't really care. Except for the fact that it's ruining my perfect no death record from up to this point. That totally existed. All right, punch that, got it. So now I just need to make my way back. I mean, it might be faster just to die, but I can make that, yep, no problem. No, or or because the, literally it was pushing me away. That's fine, that's fine. Wee. where are we going? Right here, okay, that was pretty easy. I got just popped down myself game. Didn't need to do that. Oh my, this one's really scary because you only have like one straight line. All right, so where are those platforms? I think they're over here. Yes, they are. Please don't die, thank you. 
So I think we'll just jump my way back over there again. So let me just go up all of these. And we're at the top. So the, the difficult platforming doesn't end there. We still got much more. Oof moments with the zebra, yep, that's what happens. Oh my, I remember this, this is, hold on. Before we, ch let's check how many, we need 50 more. Where do we get 50 more? Probably here, I mean, most likely. But I don't remember, I need to keep an eye out. Oh, that's tough, it's on a slant. Oh no! <laughs> no, I knew it was gonna restart me here, I told you. I can just hang out with them. Oh, he's shorter than I thought. Got it. Okay, so far, so good. Now let's get across. The only problem is it's a pain in the booty to get all the way back up here, which is why it's like, why didn't they put a checkpoint there? It's like, I can definitely understand it being difficult still, even with the checkpoint. There we go, got up here, and then just do that. I mean, you're supposed to wait for there to be a gap in the platforms, but it's just easier and safer to do that. Now, all of these have like this little like lever on the back of them that sort of looks like a precursor orb right here. When it's in movement, it looks like one out of my corner of my eye, and I'm like, is that one? And instead, no, it's just a camera getting stuck. Oh man, this is nerve wracking. So I do have to hop on this slanted thing. Luckily, it's not slippery. Oh, I see some. Oh no. Oh no, that's gonna be tough, isn't it? Got it. Okay, so here's the last uh, thing of a jig. Boom. That is the last scout fly in the game. Totally buzzed out, awesome. A hundred power cells, awesome. Uh. But we still have one more to get. We do indeed. Okay, I'm gonna turn around actually. Because there should still be more that way. And then I don't know where else I might have missed something. So I'm really getting nervous about that. We might still have to scavenge for more. I mean, unless there's some like on the way up, but I don't think so. Okay, I just missed three of them. Okay, yeah. So how many are we missing? We're missing 30. Where could those 30 be? I might have to like beat the game to find out because I can't remember. I can't remember if they're on their way up here. I really, really don't remember. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 I'm about to do it again. <laughs> Let's not be so reckless, huh? There, there we go, there's the last power cell in the game, awesome. So we have all 100 of one of them in the game, maximum power. Good work, boys. You're real heroes now. I'll combine my green eco power with the other three sages, and together we'll open the shield door surrounding the precursor robot. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good start. And then after you guys open that shield, what are you gonna do about the robot? Nothing, Daxter. We have to keep the shield open. It's up to you two to figure out how to destroy the robot. Oh, no. Oh, great. I get to help the guy that turned me into a furball destroy the only person who can turn me back! First, save the world. Then we'll try to convince Gaul to help Daxter. That's true. You're too late, say. Oh no. Once I possess limitless dark ego, I will have the key to creation itself. This is madness! Releasing that much dark ego will destroy everything we know. Just look what it's done to you! It has given us a beauty beyond anything you could understand. Beauty? Have you two looked in the mirror lately? Just wait until we open the silos, little one. You think short and fuzzy is bad. And to think you two traveled all this way for my help. Fools! Enjoy your fun row seats to the recreation of the world! You think I missed him in the blue jumping area, maybe? Oh gosh, you're going in the robot. Jack, take the elevator up and stop that robot. I mean, I, I thought I looked pretty well through it. I mean, we can take another look then. I mean, I think that, I don't know how this works. I don't know if we could come back down. We could try it, we, let's just find out. 
But I, I thought I went through that area pretty diligently, but it's possible I could have missed something. Let's see what's up here, though. I think I can take it back now. This is a big old elevator, I can tell you that much. But this is where the final boss is, and I think we can take this back down. I just wanna check this area out. There's a bunch of this, but yeah, no orbs. I really don't think there's any orbs over there. So we'll go back this way. What a cool place, and we'll go back here, don't worry. I won't spoil too much for now. Yun dun dun do. Do 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 do. Then there was the thing that goes up with Blue Eco. Okay, I thought that I got that one, but maybe I missed it. I mean, maybe there was one at the, like, the beginning as well. So I'll tr try to, oh no! Fall to my doom! Oh, really fall to my doom! Where's it gonna spawn me? Right back here, that's not really fun. It is sort of tough to get back down from this. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. That's okay. Wait, did it despawn the platforms or am I doing something wrong there? Cause it's just so difficult to hop down. If I could just land on one of those, that'd be great. Right here. So hard to tell, so hard to tell. Oh, just barely. What are you, Lurker? <laughs> Why did I get pushed so far? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me, game? They definitely didn't design it for you to do this. Whoa, come on. Getting hard up was hard enough, I know, right? Uh, come on. I finally got down and then the lurker glitches me off. What a booty butt. There we go. See, was that so bad? Okay, so I'm definitely gonna try to do what I can here to get back to that. Cause that was this one? No, it wasn't this one. I'm gonna have a hard time remembering, aren't I? It wasn't that one. I mean, I could, I mean, doing it backwards wouldn't help too much. No, I think it was this one then. Yeah, I think it was this one. That should be right. Because I did them in counterclockwise order. <laughs> yeah, getting up was very difficult, so doing it again. Oh yeah, there, I didn't get this? Wow, I'm quite the dingus, aren't I? <laughs> Thank you guys, I would have been there for a while. 2000 out of 2000, the Super Orberator. All right, thank you guys so much for letting me know about that. That just saves me a bunch of time. Oh no, where is this gonna restart me? Please back up. Ah, oh, that would have been great if it restarted me back up. You may be a dingus, but you're our dingus. Oh, that's the nicest way you can put it. I appreciate it. So where are the platforms up there up here? Get out of here, lurker. But now we're really done everything. We just gotta face the final boss. I mean, I'm pretty sure at this point the save file will say 100%, but I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure, but I'm not really sure. Does it really matter? Not really. Ooh, ooh. But we're still gonna do the final boss, don't worry. I'm not skipping out on it. Move it, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, come on. No, no, this is gonna take me a while. Please land on the platforms, no. Oh man, that stinks. And the, the respawn area is not that great. I just gotta not be awful. Okay, from this moment on, I won't be in, from this moment on, I won't be an awful player, okay? I will be incredibly accurate, I'll be ph phenomenally practical, and I'll be fantastically fast. I actually can't see where I'm going. It's really hard to do these things backwards because they're clearly not designed to do that. <laughs> okay, I've done this how many times now? I think we can get it. <laughs> okay. I just wish I could get a checkpoint. But I, that's sort of the worst part of this area, I guess, is that the checkpoints aren't that great. I thought they were better than what they are, at least from what I remember, but I guess I remember wrong. I guess I don't have to slam jump to get up these. Just feels safer, because sometimes that kind of stuff happens. So I'd rather like overmake the jump, but still be able to make it. Okay, uh. Please game, please don't do that to me. Wow. All right, see I wasn't so bad. I just gotta take this slow and carefully. I should be fine. Just gotta psych myself up, do a couple squats, right? That sounds like a good idea. Okay, it's coming up, jump, jump, got it. Gotta wait for this one then. Jump, jump, yeah, jump, jump, okay. Then jump, jump, got it. Sorry, sometimes repeating the controls to myself helps me 
you know, figure out the inputs. We made it! We made it! Okay! We're in the clear, I think. Just don't do any kind of silly roll jumps. Got it. Oh, stressful. So stressful. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, okay, we are going up! And fighting the final boss for real this time. Ugh. All right, look at this place. I really wanna, I wanna marvel at it this time. You got, you got the giant precursor robot that's very uh, pieced together. What's crazy is that this area is sort of fogged out so you can't see it from the distance, I don't think, ever in the game. No, don't press the button again. I don't wanna go back down. Uh, I just wanna see. You can't really see it, but I guess it's the rest of the game here. Like, these are the icy mountains. It's very fogged out for a good reason, and this door will be, you know, tackled later. Okay, do that, and then got that. So look at this thing. He's just trying to destroy what I guess is the reservoir. This area looks so cool, by the way. Oh, it's so awesome. But we got you to so defeat. The dark eco what? The Dark Eco what? Repeat that, sir? Do I just attack him? I don't remember what to do here. Oh, yeah, I guess we attack him. <laughs> ah! Oh, he's mad now. Mad robot. Oh gosh, yeah, I remember this now. Oh, I so remember this. Okay, so he's gonna shoot like a super bomb and we gotta jump in the air or that just explodes us. Oh my. Okay, got it. You just won't give up, will you? Uh, okay, now he's shooting this stuff. But if I remember this correctly, we just gotta move or no, he's actually not shooting at us. He's shooting green eco at this. Oh, oh, what in the world? I forgot about these things. So, Creepy. Oh my gosh. No, I'm out of I'm out of yellow eco. Forgot. Forgot. I don't have too much time to take these guys out, I don't think. Oh gosh, they're awful. They're nightmare fuel. They're like lurkers, but way worse. Jeez, how many how many of them are there? There we go. So this gap in the center gets larger and larger. We gotta be careful about that. Jump! I don't think we can miss time this jump, right? I guess not. But that opens it a bit more. Oh no. Don't land right into it, because that'll end it. I don't think there's any checkpoints for this boss, like most boss fights, so we'll be forced to do it again if we mess up. Oh my, oh my, I think that shoots at us. Uh, oh, oh, Um. how do these work? Ow, ow, I forget what to do here. Okay, so I think I gotta hit them. Yes, that does hurt them. Oh gosh, move it though, move it. Finish them both off once and for all. Finish them both off once for and for all, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You stand still, please. I probably don't want to stand so close. Oh gosh, I gotta move before these explode too much, cause that's gonna hurt. Oh. Oh, okay, we did it, we did it, we did it. This is so intense. Oh gosh, it's gonna be like super duper open. Well, I guess not too much. Oh no, <laughs> I'm so scared. But I think we're almost done. I think we almost got the third phase. I mean, he's got the super cannon. I have you now. This looks so cool when the game is actually running at full frames per second. Okay, hit him. Hit him, hit him, hit him. All right, it's gonna shoot again. Might as well go over here and get this. Oh no, don't fall into, if I fall into Dark Eco even once, it's, it's all over. Oh, okay. Hold on. Oh, I'm not standing still, of course not. Ow, come on, darn it. Got him. Okay, I need to get, no, no, what do we do now? Oh, he's really mad. You just won't give up, will you? Oh, the blue eco's not available yet. Oh! Oh yeah, I remember this. I know. It does exist. They must not be allowed to get it! White eco! That could be the stuff to change me back! Or it might stop that robot. Hmm. Stay fuzzy. Save the world. Choices. Okay, fine. We'll save the world. But do it quickly before I change my mind. Okay. Daxter chooses the world over himself because then there would be no Daxter. Okay, so we gotta quickly grab some white eco whenever it shows up before these things explode us. Where is it? Where is it? It takes a second to show up. Oh, there's some. There's, wait, there's some more here. Get it. Oh, look at us. Oh, my. Do something. 
Wow, in one hit, he takes it out. Oh my, oh my, the head's falling. Oh, they're inside of that head. Oh no, goodbye. We win, yay. This is awesome. <laughs> Look at him break down. Well, it looks like I may have been too hard on you boys. You do have what it takes to be heroes. But Daxter, now we can't change you back. Don't worry about me, baby. You know what they say. Big things come in small packages. Jack, you have an incredible talent for channeling Eco. Samos, you may have been right about this one after all. And Kira. Without your help and ingenuity, none of this would have been possible. <laughs> Perhaps we've found another sage now that Gaul and Maya are lost. Yes, Gaul and Maya. The Dark Eco probably destroyed them. Yeah, probably. Ah, who cares? Bring them on! We can take them again! Right, Jack? I said, right, Jack? <gasps> oh. Wow! Put it on ice, big guy! Alright! There we go! We <laughs> put it on ice! Okay, so there's Jack and Max are beaten. She did nothing, well, she made the zoomer. We couldn't have ever even lost, left the first area of this game without her, because she made the zoomer. Um, but yeah, I mean, she really helped us a lot, I think, in the story. Regardless, Jack and Daxter is over, we beat it 100%. We, as you might have saw there with the trophy, we got the platinum as well, so there is a platinum for this. Eventually, we were, we're supposed to be able to press circle and we'll make through the the cut or the credits faster. But um, yeah, interesting stuff there. They sort of plant the seeds for a sequel that didn't exactly happen the way they planned it. Because of course the game was being made, they didn't know how well the game was gonna do. I think it did well, but it could have done better. Here we go, look at how fast this goes. It's like, whoa! <laughs> But yeah, that was great, Jack 2 hype. We'll definitely play Jack 2 at some point. I might give it some time, a couple weeks before we move on to it. Oh, here we go. Holy yakko! What could that be? Wow, it's an ancient precursor door. It looks like it will only open if we fill all 100 holes with power cells. Uh, we're heroes, remember? We have 100 power cells. I don't know what happens if, uh, I forget what happens, what Daxter says if you don't. As I was like, oh boy, here we go again. Something to the equivalent of that. But, uh, um, yeah, there we go. Um, a lot of the, uh, seeds they planted for the sequel here don't exactly get realized. Some of it does. Some of it does. What's about to happen here does sort of get realized, but it's not wow. much for us right now. What is it? It's so beautiful. By the Ooh, what is it gonna be? It's gonna be a cliffhanger. <laughs> Which is fine, and then the game just restarts. But yeah, that was awesome. Uh, I really enjoyed that. I'm glad you guys went on the journey with me. But yeah, some things about Gaul and Maya coming back, that doesn't happen. I mean, I've already like you know theorized what could happen, but to do that, I'd have to spoil what happens with two and three. So maybe one day we'll talk about what they could do in the future if they haven't made a Jack 4th Gaul and Maya, but Gaul and Maya did not make an appearance in Jack 2 or 3, so we never really know if they're alive or dead or anything, but Jack and Naxter is completed. We find out what was in that shiny room in Jack 2, but for now, the game is complete. That was a fun playthrough, and I'm glad you guys joined with me, and I hope you enjoyed it.